DeWitt here for the Varsity 845 football show at Middletown High School. It's Section 9 playoff time. Class A and Class C Friday night, Middletown and Kingston, and we're going to bring you all the action. We'll stay in Middletown for the Class C semifinal game between Sullivan West and Tri-Valley, which will be remembered as the Brad Reimer Show. First quarter, Sullivan West's first series. Reimer, from 16 yards out, gives the Bulldogs a 6-0 lead. Now for your feel-good moment. Two years ago, Nick Moots missed the season recovering from cancer. Here, his 38-yard touchdown run makes it 12-0. Now for your Tri-Valley highlight. Peter D'Amelia takes this handoff 15 yards for a touchdown. That cuts the lead to 12-6. But Tri-Valley's optimism was short-lived. Here's the ensuing kickoff. Dan Figueroa at his own 21. He takes it 79 yards for a touchdown. Now back to Reimer. He goes 60 yards for a touchdown here. Then 25 yards for his third touchdown here. Reimer also adds a late touchdown pass and Sullivan West wins 46-6. The second game at Middletown was a Class A semifinal. If you're in a high school fantasy football league, you're probably in first place if you drafted Kevin Arduino. Cornwall finished in first with him during the regular season and had little trouble Friday night with Saugerties. Arduino gives Cornwall a 7-0 lead on this 15-yard touchdown run. Then connects with Kevin King for 76 yards and a touchdown. you can go! Lou D'Esposito's 12-yard run makes it 20 to nothing Cornwall. Now get ready for some classic Arduino. Check out the touch here as he finds Craig Zuzek from 11 yards out. That makes it 26 nothing. So ladies, how about 26 push-ups? Back to Arduino who gets Lorenzo Bennett involved here. Arduino adds the second touchdown to King. That makes 26 for Arduino on the season. Cornwall wins 42-0. Now let's go to Kingston's Deed Stadium where Ellenville takes on Millbrook in the other Class C semifinal game. Ellenville is without starting quarterback Sebastian Constable after an appendectomy. So it turns to 290-pound Anthony Casamento. Okay, so now Anthony gets to hand the football off to Donald Exner and Eric Thayer. Exner is the workhorse, carrying 33 times for 230 yards and two touchdowns. Thayer carries just nine times Friday afternoon, but he scores four touchdowns. Here's some Nick Finger. He scores both Millbrook touchdowns, finishes with 163 yards on 23 carries. That gives him 2,172 yards this season, the second highest total ever by a Section 9 running back. Ellenville wins 56-13. Let's move on to the main event at Kingston Friday night. Walkhill and Port Jervis meet in a Class A semifinal game. These teams combined to score 59 points during the regular season, but this one pretty much is a defensive battle. Walkill gets on the board first. Check out the catch by Anthony Panessi, courtesy of his good buddy Seth Ewald. It goes for eight yards as Walkill takes a 7-0 lead. Let's see some of that defense. Port Jervis blocks a punt and the football goes through the back of the end zone for two points. Now here's seven the more conventional way as Steve Butler plows into the end zone from a yard out and Port Jervis leads 9-7. After Chad Heck takes an Ewald pass 49 yards to the Port Jervis one. James Schoonmaker gets the final three feet as Walkhill grabs a 14-9 lead late in the second quarter. Heck then gets one of his own as Ewald drops a perfect pass over the shoulder in the end zone with 10 seconds left in the half. 
Walk Hill wins 21-9. Check back Sunday morning for playoff highlights from Saturday's Class AA and Class B semifinal games from Middletown and Kingston.